Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Thank you all so much for coming back for another video. I appreciate you taking the time to do so. And if you're new here, my name is Joe Stendouli. I'm a graphic designer and a self-taught calligrapher. And before I get into what the topic of today's video is, which you may have seen from the video title, I wanna to mention to you that if you did not know, I have an Etsy shop Link is in the description as always, or you can go to my website, jostendooley.com. And you wanna know what? The link for that is in the description as well. So I have prints up for sale on Massey Shop. I just have a limited supply of each. And go pick you up one if they're still available by the time this video comes out. And so the topic of today's video, we're gonna talk about fun ways to have, well, not fun ways, ways to have fun with graphic design. And with that said, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are below. And now let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, let's get to tip number one. So tip number one is you want to experiment with typography, meaning you want to have fun with various fonts, sizes, colors, and when I say have fun with, well, experiment with typography, it means is that you know, we, we both know that there's rules with typography that we tend to follow or, follow or that we are taught. But just take some time, have fun with it, try out different fonts, sizes, ex really experiment because that is the way how you are going to develop your style and see what you like and what you don't like truly develop a strong taste and the next tip is for numero dos tip number two get inspired by nature this is something that i continually practice and do every day even if i'm inside I have to find something via nature that will continue to inspire me, whether it's looking at photos on social media, videos, looking out my window, watering my plants. And this is because nature, it offers us so many different shapes, colors, patterns, texture, just a totally different way of looking at the world around us and you know even snapping pitch pictures i got pictures that i've taken of sunsets well not sunsets sunrises because to me it's just so beautiful seeing the different colors and not just the colors the gradients that the sun makes and you know this is one of the most free things that we have available to us that all you have to do is just walk outside. And now, tip number three, set constraints. Setting constraints for your work, meaning every day I'm going to work on a project, create a logo, and time limit I'm going to have for me is gonna be 30 minutes from beginning to end, and I have to have something completed. Excuse me. Doing that, it could really push your creativity and as well as it will help you think outside the box and think a lot more quicker. Because whenever you are working at an agency or working at a job to where you have to, someone comes in and says, all right, I want a poster. Can you create a poster for me? I lost a dog. You gotta be able to think just like that. And this is not something where you're gonna be able to take your time with it. It's all about practice and being able to use the programs efficiently, as well as believing that what you're doing is solving the problem. Because as creatives, that's essentially what we're doing. We are problem solvers. And now, Tip number four, collaborate with others. Collaborating with others, it could bring 
out a fresh perspective as well as different ideas. Whenever I collaborated with other designers, not saying that I'm not still up to it, is that it really helped me bring out a different side of me that I never thought to do. And when I say that is that we are so into way, we are so into the way that we design and our process, but then whenever you're working with someone else, you have to align yourself with their process. And that for me was actually very fun to do. And I definitely recommend other designers out there do the same. And last but not least, last but not least, tip number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. And by saying that, you have to remember, designing should be fun. We're gonna make mistakes and designing should be fun. Taking it serious all the time is gonna make it unfun. Because there's gonna be times whenever you get a project that you want to work on and you're just thinking, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do and or how to even go about doing this project and or where should I even look for inspiration? And that's okay. You'll find your way. And there you have it. Five simple tips on how to have fun what with graphic design and remember that graphic design should be fun don't don't forget to collaborate as well as set constraints experiment experiment with typography that's just a few or it could be a lot to some people but with that said don't forget to like and share also hit that subscribe button Leave me a comment below what your thoughts are about the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love.